This is really important information because it's something that a lot of people don't realize about the home buying process. And it really impacts a lot of people across the country because budgets are so tight to begin with. Now, one thing that we know as real estate agents and as mortgage lenders in particular is that many average American home buyers have a very tight budget. And so for the average American home buyer, everything is very tight. I mean, it comes down to the penny a lot of times. This is the amount for the down payment. The closing cost is something that's a big focus in these conversations. And so people are looking at their assets. They're looking at their cash on hand, cash available, their bank account, and factoring in what they're going to be able to bring to the closing table. And so much emphasis is put there that a lot of times, from my experience, the average home buyer was completely unaware that there are pretty significant upfront costs that you should expect to have to pay in order to purchase a home. That is in going through the process. So let's go through these right now today. It's very quick. There's only a few. Now, remember, these are upfront costs that are non-refundable in most cases. And it's just an out-of-pocket expense that, by the way, you may just lose. And that's why it's really important to just be aware of this because a lot of people throughout the days and years have been caught off guard by this completely and been very upset. Well, if you're watching this video, you'll be educated to this and that won't happen to you. Remember, preparation is like half of the battle or something like that. You find a home you like, you know what your pre-approval amount is, You've got your budget. You put an offer in on that home. The offer gets accepted. You go under contract. The home is not yours yet, but you're going through the process to make it the closing day. More often than not, you're going to have inspections performed on the house. Usually, particularly in our state, you're going to have a home inspection done and you're going to have a termite inspection done or a wood inspection or what's called a CL100 a letter performed to provide to the lender. Just to state that the wood that the house is made of is structurally sound and is not damaged, particularly by termites or excessive moisture. That home inspection can range in cost. All right. So I'm just shooting out ballpark figures, but it's typically going to be around four hundred dollars. It could be more depending on the size of the home and some of the details. It could be a little bit less depending on the size of the home and some of the details. But typically a home inspection is going to run you around four hundred dollars. It is non-refundable and it's due up front. It's not paid out at closing. So if you pay for this home inspection and then the deal doesn't go through for some reason, you could just be out that $400 where a home inspection was paid for for a home that you're not even buying. It can happen. I just saw it happen over the last couple of weeks. Number one is home inspection. You also have the other inspection, which is the termite inspection. This is typically going to be around $150, $175, $200. Again, an upfront cost that's non-refundable. Once you pay for that inspection, you're not going to get it back. And typically your lender, in a lot of cases, depending on your loan type, and again, I don't want to get into the weeds, but a lot of times your lender is going to require this one. Be prepared for $200 of out-of-pocket expense you're not going to get back. Next is the appraisal. Your lender is going to order an appraisal, and more often than not, that's going to be also an upfront cost that you're not going to get back. It's non-refundable, and you can expect an appraisal to be about 600 bucks. Could be a little bit more, could be a little bit less. So we're already at over $1,000 in costs. We're at about $1,100, $1,200 in expenses upfront, out-of-pocket, non-refundable, whether you close on the house or not. Why is that aspect important? Imagine you spend that $1,200, $1,000, $500, depending on how far you got into the process, and then the deal falls through for whatever reason, but you're still home shopping. You go to the next home, guess what? You start all over again. Now $1,000 just turned into $2,000, and we haven't even got to closing costs yet. You haven't even gotten to the point of actually moving in and painting and all the stuff you want to do. Okay, so it's really important, really important. This can add up quickly, but we're not done. Next is your attorney's cost. So if your attorney, in a lot of cases, starts doing title work, some attorneys are going to go ahead and charge you for whatever work that they did up to the cancellation of that contract. So this would be applicable if the transaction were to not close. Normally, this would be paid out at closing. But if the transaction were to not make it to closing for whatever reason, whether it's a default of the seller or you default as the buyer, and that could mean just simply terminating the contract, saying, you know, in due diligence, we're going to walk away, we're not interested. Whatever the case may be, if they started that title work, a lot of their preparation and work, they may charge you for as well. That's something you may want to ask on the front end to your realtor or to the closing attorney that you've selected to find out what you're going to be on the hook for if this thing doesn't go through and how much grace time do you have to make a decision before you're going to be on the hook for that bill. Could be a couple hundred bucks out of pocket that you're going to be charged also. We know that home buying in America at this point in time can be very difficult for a lot of people. It's challenging. And so it really is 
for a lot of people, it comes down to the penny. A couple hundred dollars could be a make or break situation. And a lot of times home buyers are only trained or educated to think so much about their down payment. Then they start to ask their lender about closing costs and learn about what that's going to cost. But a lot of times nobody's mentioning these upfront costs that you're going to have to have to make your way through the process. I just thought I'd put together this video and get it out there to you because it could be helpful if you stumbled across it, then it could be very useful. It could come in very handy. But the bottom line for this video is please be aware that you need to be calculating, I would say to be safe, call it $1,500 of upfront out-of-pocket expense that you can potentially lose without even getting the home and be able to continue your home search on the next home. Because if those expenses start getting paid, home inspection, wood inspection, appraisal, and then for whatever reason, the deal falls through, you're still looking for a home, that money's gone. You're not getting that back. Unless there were some odd circumstances where you could sue the seller, they were in default and all this, but then it gets murky and messy and we're not dealing with all of that. We're just saying that these costs are in limbo for sure. So I highly recommend you to factor that into your budgeting as you're considering your home purchase because these are going to be pretty standard, all of these that we went through today for the most part for most of you. If you've had any experience with this or if there's anything you'd like to know about a real estate transaction, please leave it down in the comments. We'd be happy to answer any questions we can. The purpose of this channel is designed to be helpful as a real estate agent to you, the consumer. So any information we have about what you need to know, I'd be happy to answer. Look forward to hearing from y'all. And in the meantime, y'all take care. God willing, we'll see you on the next video.